Hi, Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents, here to share God's Word. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 6, starting at verse 14, through 17, let's see, through 18, okay, four verses. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord has Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate saith the Lord and touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you and will be a father unto you and ye shall be my sons and daughters saith the Lord Almighty. Now, this is Pat's two cents time now. I want you to hear me on this because sometimes, you know, we think, oh, how snobbish for Christians to think that they're so much better than anyone else. No. The only difference between us and anyone else is we're forgiven. That's it. But we are sinners just like everybody else. But this is this is a point. I'm going to, you know, I like to share a little uh analogies and I want you to get this I'm a doctor and I want to do surgery on someone you love dearly or guess what they could die if they don't have this surgery so matter of fact they will die this is life threatening and they need surgery right now well guess what Everyone signs off on it, including you. And now I go into the surgery room and I have to put on with the garment for surgery, correct? I have to put on the mask. Now, why am I doing that? Why don't I just wear my street clothes? Too many contaminants. So I have to put something sterile on. I have to clean and sanitize my hands. The nursing staff has to clean and sanitize all the surgical instruments. Am I right or am I wrong? So what must I do? Now I have to have sterile gloves placed on my hands, correct? Why? Why is that? Why can't I just go in there and do my thing? You know why? Because if I use contaminated items, if I am contaminated, I can cause that person their life because infections will set up in their bodies. And once you get a staph infection or you get all kinds of, uh, of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You get all kinds of, uh, uh, of germs and mm, you don't want that. Because you know what happens? They could die, even though I've given them the surgery. So when you have to do some type of a life-saving surgical procedure, everything, the room, everybody, everything needs to be sterile, including the area you're gonna work on. I say that to say this. Would you allow me to do the surgery if I had been drinking all night, coming in with a hangover from partying the night before, just had sex with who knows who, who knows where, and who knows when, didn't take a shower, hands dirty, body dirty, everything messed up, and I go strolling into the surgery room to cut on your loved one. 
if you don't want me doing that, how much more would God be turned off to us bringing our uncleanliness and our contaminants into a holy walk with God. You can't have sterilization and contamination hooked up together and think everything's going to be fine and dandy. There's going to be a loss. There's going to be damage done. Think of that principle. That's where God is coming from. I'm going to leave you with that. Because I can sometimes say too much. But I want you to think about that. And if you wouldn't want the contaminants to be mixed in with a life-saving surgical procedure, understand why God does not want us contaminating our lives, our standards, our ways with the ways of sin. Think about that. And you tell me what your take is on it. Amen? Amen. God bless you as you think on these things.